From front runner to left off the ballot. It is the headline that Assemblyman Vince Fong wants to avoid. Tomorrow in Sacramento courtroom, Fong's case to be on the ballot in California's 20th district is being heard. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein reminds us how Fong got to this point. Will. Michael, 2023 started out as the year of Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Now he is out of a job in D.C. And his protege Vince Fong may not be a fixture in Washington come 2024 either. In Congress, I want to focus on the pressing issues impacting every single person in the Central Valley. But can Assemblyman Vince Fong do that? State law is pretty explicit. Uh, Vince Fong is not allowed to do this. Technically, from the letter of the law, no. California Elections Code 8003 Section B states that no person may file papers for more than one office, but Fong states that he meets all the federal qualifications for office. Attorney Ron Zambrano thinks it's an uphill fight for the man running for state assembly and U.S. Congress. He would have to say he would be likely to, to win on the merits, which might be hard based on what we know now. He's trying to get into a congressional seat after already never thinking it was going to be open. But his team should have known. On those very first days, there's some things we changed. Little did Bakersfield Congressman and former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy know he'd be one of those things changed. McCarthy was removed from the speakership in October of this year, and then just a couple months later, the veteran congressman announced he would not be running for re-election. This allowed for a five-day extension for candidates to file, which Fong did. Fong says the opportunity being open for the congressional seat should grant him the right to run in the race as well as the assembly seat contest. When uh, there's a vacancy, there is a five-day extension for all people, not some people, to be able to represent them in Washington, D.C. The voters deserve a choice. The Secretary of State should not be removing people off the ballot. Um, that is not what is uh, uh, under their purview. And so I believe that the voters deserve a choice. Uh, the, the rules allow that. I'm qualified to run for the 20th Congressional District, and I intend uh, to run and win. And coming up at 6, we'll tell you what one Republican strategist backing Fong predicts will happen in court tomorrow. But for now, reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.